So this video will be about the 1994 Mr. Olympia at which Sean Ray was placed second and Kevin Lavroni was placed third. In the back we see the 1983 Mr. Olympia Samir Banut and the eight times Mr. Olympia Roni Coleman who was placed 15th that year. The front double biceps shows the great aesthetics and conditioning both had that night. Both have great arms development with impressive biceps. Sean's arms in general are better separated as well as his overall conditioning. The width in Sean's lats and his small waist give him an impressive V-taper and he hits the stomach vacuum pose here. Kevin arms on the other hand are huge and his lats are wide but his waist is wider than that of Sean as well. Their wheels are huge, separated and highly conditioned. Both hit an impressive front lat spread with Kevin having the width advantage. We can see the striations in their chest and shoulders. Kevin definitely is more huge but I think Sean overall is better conditioned especially in his lower section with his highly separated and defined wheels. The side chest shows the thickness Kevin had in his chest in his prime. We can also see the striations in their chest and shoulders reflecting a great level of conditioning. Their midsection is tight and their wheels are huge and ripped with striations in the glutes. Another side chest pose shows aesthetic sculptures of two uncrowned Mr. Olympia contenders. Kevin's chest, shoulders and arms are insane and Sean looks so ripped and striated presenting a great level of conditioning. Their midsection is tight and their wheels are huge and conditioned. The side triceps shows the size Kevin had over Sean that night with his massive shoulders and arms. His huge horseshoe triceps are way more impressive than those of Sean in this shot. Sean on the other hand looks better conditioned with his striated chest and insanely ripped abs and visible obliques. The back double biceps shows how sharp, defined and conditioned Sean was that night with his huge and ripped traps and highly defined lats. His ripped shoulders perfectly connect with his lats and his glutes and hamstrings are highly conditioned. Kevin on the other hand is more huge but definitely less conditioned in the lats area. His lower section however is ripped with his striated glutes and hamstrings. Although smaller, but Sean's lats are better ripped and defined, his traps and shoulders are striated and his arms are impressive with visible brachialis. His glutes are striated against Kevin who looks bigger and wider but less conditioned overall. The lat spread pictures are scarce, so let's move on to see the abs and thighs. A great pose for them both, showing their six-pack abs and visible obliques. Their biceps are pumped and the sweep in their lats is very impressive, especially that of Sean. I've always been impressed with Sean's midsection, especially his insanely developed obliques. He always had ripped abs and highly aesthetic midsection, only matched by the likes of Flex Wheeler. Nobody can match Kevin in the most muscular. His traps are incredible and his explosive shoulders are almost double the size of those of Sean. His chest is complete, thick and striated and his arms are huge and ripped. Sean on the other hand is not as huge as Kevin in the chest, shoulders and arms areas but his conditioning clearly shows in this pose with striations in his chest, shoulders and quads. Another most muscular shows the size advantage Kevin has in his shoulders and chest. Sean on the other hand might not be as huge but he is conditioned with striations in his traps, ripped shoulders and chest, separated arms and incredibly conditioned quads. So all in all Kevin won the size and the muscularity while Sean won the aesthetics and the conditioning. Sean was widely considered as the real Olympia winner that year. His aesthetic physique was ripped, conditioned and almost flawless. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.